What's a uh, perpendicular? What is that? And why is it useful? Coming up. Welcome back for another two minutes tips and tricks video. So the back to the basic perpendicular tool. You know what? In the beginning of my uh, MRI uh, career, when I started to work with MR, I really had a hard time understanding what this is and what the benefit out of it because my people around me told me that they, hey back remember to perpendicular on this perpendicular on that but I didn't really quite understand why but uh, the later years when I do, do now fully understand what it is I see the full potential of it and how it is important and why so uh, just wait a minute I will try to find an example So uh, this is a uh, uh, Duplo, one of my girls' toy. It's what I found. But so the thing is that the first planning you do will be the base of it, right? The base of your planning, your angulation. So let's say you cut through this transversal. So you want 90 degrees on that. That would mean sagittal, and then you have a coronal. They're all 90 degrees on each other. So being able to do this precisely and fast and efficient perpendicular tool is much needed. So let's go to the scanner and I will try to show you how this works. Let's go. All right, guys, we are live at the 1.5 Tajla, but remember this works the uh, same on 3T, this perpendicular tool. So let the countdown of two minutes begin. So before we continue, I just want to show you what is perpendicular. That means the two distinct lines intersecting each other at 90 degrees. Or right angle are called perpendicular lines. So let's check the images here now. Okay, I already did a scan to save time. T1 sagittal, you see there, and in the middle, coronal T1, and then transversal. And then you can see the reference lines is on. This is easier for you to understand this perpendicular tool. Take a closer look at the sagittal. You have the lines there and there. And then the coronal, you have a line there and there. And the same for transversal, there and there. So I'm just going to modify the viewing a little bit so it makes it easy for us to, to see. Okay, so let's start out with a sagittal. That means that whenever you're going to do a sagittal, do not activate the image window. So what we do now, we activate the coronal and we take the perpendicular and take a closer look at that arrow I got right there. And then we're going to do a perpendicular and transversal. So take a look, closer look at that area now. There you go. So now we are perpendicular on the sagittal. So let's continue and do a transversal. You see the transversal line is right there. So we, we leave the transversal window alone. Do not activate that one. And we're only going to use sagittal and coronal now for the perpendicular tool. So this saves a lot of angulation time whenever using perpendicular tool. Of course, if the anatomy is not correct after I'm doing perpendicular, I do a little bit of angulation. So I always go for the anatomy. So let's go for coronal now. So we leave the coronal alone and then we only activate the sagittal and then transversal. So take a closer look now. There you go. There you got a coronal. So my time is soon up. For better understanding, you just need to try it out and you will see the benefit of it for being more efficient and doing precise planning. All right, guys. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you get a better understanding of what perpendicular is and why it's useful. So before we close up on this video, I just have a question for you. Do you use perpendicular in your planning? If so, let me know in the comment down below. So until next time, I catch up with you later. Peace out.